Hi guys, today I'm using my Naked 3 palette and creating this beautiful evening look and what I've started off with is moisturising my face with my Embra Soleil, I can't pronounce it, moisturiser and put that all over my face followed by my Urban Decay Naked Skin BB Cream and topped it off with my foundation by Ella Masca which is the skin base in number 10 using my Real Techniques sponge to just blend that in all over my face as I'm demonstrating. Now starting with the eyes I use my Urban Decay primer and I put that all over my eyelids up to my brow bone area. Then using my fluffy brush I go into the colour limit and then just put that into my crease area. Just very lightly just putting it in there and just blending it out. This colour is going to act as my transition colour. Then again with my fluffy brush I'm going to go into the colour Burnout and I'm just going to put that all on my lower eyelid area. Then using my pencil brush I'm going to go into the colour Nuna and build that up into my outer crease area. And getting my fluffy brush and just blending those two colours in in the crease area. Then using my pencil brush again I'm going into the colour Factory and I'm just creating a bit of a V-shape in the outer corners of my eyes and just blending it slightly into the centre and as you can see I'm creating a flick effect as well with that colour and again using my fluffy brush I'm actually just blending that out and actually flicking it out at the same time so it leaves no harsh lines then with my fluffy brush again I go into the lightest colour which is Strange and I'm going to use that to highlight my brow bone area. Now using my um, smouldering brush by Illamasqua, I'm going to dip into the colour Blackheart and just create a bit of depth near the outer lash line area, a bit of a V. And then just flick it out slightly with any, any remaining product. I'm bringing some of that product towards the inner part of the eyelid as you can see and using my big fluffy brush or blending brush if you like I'm just going to blend that out and just flick it out at the same time just to add a bit of drama and using my small ring brush again I'm just going to build up the colour again You can make this as intense or as soft as you like, I'm just making it as intense as I like it. And then using my um, smouldering brush again, I'm going into the colour Dark Side and just building on the edge of where I've finished with the black heart colour and just blending that. Using a flat, dense brush, I'm going to dip into the colour Dark Side again and actually line that along the lower lash line. And the best thing about this brush is because it's so dense, you can actually get it quite precise into where you want it to be. Again, using my flat brush, I'm going into the colour black art and just building on top of the dark side colour on the lower lash line. My blending brush, I'm just squeezing it together just so I can get a bit of a precise blending underneath my eyes and then just dust off any residue. Using a beauty sponge I'm just going to clean up any residue from any of the eyeshadow left. Using a small detail brush I'm going to go into the colour dust and just put that into the inner corners of my eyes just as a little highlight colour. Now I'm going to use my MAC Black Track Eyeliner and just line my eyes using an eyeliner brush. I'm going quite thin on the inner corners of my eyes but thickening it out on the outer and I'm joining that onto the lower lash line. Using my Prolong Wear MAC Eyeliner Pencil in Defiantly Black I'm going to line the inner uh, waterline of my eyes and the upper waterline of my eyes. Then to finish off my lashes I'm going to use Maybelline Falsies 
and I'm really sorry about the lighting because well the Sun doesn't want to help me out with this video today does it right just to finish off the skin I'm going to use my mineral eye skin finish in medium plus in the lighter areas of my face so underneath the eyes on the bridge of my nose, in the centre of my forehead and then I'm going to use medium dark just in my contouring area so in the hollows of my cheek, on the um, edges of my face or the perimeter of my face if you like, just down the jawline and on the bridge of my nose, well on the side of the bridges of my nose and as you can see squeezing my brush again just so I get a bit more definition to where I put it. Using my blush up brush by Ilamasca I'm going to take that into my sleek contour palette and actually contour my cheeks. Now I'm going to go into my highlight colour and just highlight the top of my cheeks. Now I'm going to use my um, contour brush by MAC and use the colour Sin by NARS and actually put that between the contour colour and the highlight colour and as you can see I'm lightly stroking that across my cheeks and not bringing it to the apples from my cheeks. I'm using the colour Captive by MAC and colour Test by Elamasca to create my lip colour look. So Captive goes all over my lips and then Test goes just in the centre. And there you have it, there's the finished look. I'm really sorry if I sound horrible guys, but I have lost my voice and I've just about got it back. So, oh, hang on a minute, I forgot my brows. Anyway, for my brows, I needed the brow kit by Sleek and I'm gonna use my angled brush and fill in my eyebrows. And just to soften out any harsh edges, I use a spoolie and just to blend out the color. And there you have it, finally the finished look. As I said, I'm really sorry if I sound really, really deep in my voice, but I have recovered from a cold, and I'm really sorry about the lighting. I can't control the sun, but hopefully you have really enjoyed this video, and you have liked the look. Do let me know how you guys get on, especially with the new Naked 3 palette. I absolutely love it. So um, yeah, that's about it really. Do give me a thumbs up and do leave your comments below and I will see you guys next time. Take care. Bye.